everyone to an episode of Austria, where we are invading and we're conquering and we're doing stuff we probably shouldn't do. And yeah, we're about to go take over this big gigantic colony over here called uh, Ethiopia. Oh, Ethiopia, you want? Yes! Yes! Uh, we just took over Ethiopia with that move. Uh, Somali, you're next. Because, like, yeah, no one joined Somali's side. Alright, so that we can make sure we have a good sized colony over here. And North Germanic Federation is obviously tinkering with my empire because they want to form the greater empire. And good leadership and yay! Those are all good events right there. And I need to do the national conference because national conferences are cool. So yeah, um, we've been at constant war for the past couple of years. Violent elections! But yeah, we've been at war for a constant couple of years, and we've been just casually expanding our empire to the point of no return. I mean, right now we are basically, we're basically claiming, like, this half of, <clears throat> so North Dramatic Fed, ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, North Dramatic Federation is, dang it, they had to do it right when you guys declared peace. Hmm. Plus, uh, you know what? Yeah, fall back. I don't care that much. Baden wasn't really my one of my big allies. Now, if they start messing with these two guys, then I'll have to start getting involved in the North Germanic Federation business. But for right now, that's not really too big of a deal. But yes, I got more land. I got more people. This is this is all going really swimmingly, people. Like we are becoming a massive col colonial nation. Which is really good. We need to be. We, we can become a colonial nation. We got some good tax reforms going. Let's just go all the way down the tax reform system. Okay. Elegant furniture. Sure. That sounds really good. Right about now. But let's just go down the entire modern baking business so we can really increase our taxes. And then we're also going to go destroy Somali. That way we have all of this area right over here underneath our control. And. We're basically laying claims to all of this area. Because that's what I want, and... Oh, friends calls for Congress! We received word from the friends that they intend to hold a Congress of European powers in the capital to discuss the ability of the army empire to ma maintain stability in the Balkans. Some feel we should favor keeping the army strong in the interest of preserving the Russians from expanding... I don't really care. Uh, this could possibly prove to our relations with the Ottomans as well. Others believe stability in the Balkans should be the priority, even though the, this might come at the expense of the Ottomans our relationship with them. Still others feel we should not take part in this vile attempt dismembering a sovereign nation. Really? So, the Ottoman Empire must be kept strong, stability in the Balkans, or we must not take risks in our relationship with the Ottomans. Yeah, screw you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go mess with them as hardcore as I can. <laughs> I've been doing that all game, so it's really not like... Would it really change anything if I did some more Twinkie to them? I mean, I really... I've been doing this all game, basically. I mean, seriously. I've been doing this all game. There's really no change. Oh, gosh. The surge of communism. Oh, no. What could be... What could be at a perfect timing like this? Communism. Oh, gosh. So, laissez-faire, or do I want into... I want all my poor to realize that they should... That they should, like, uh, become inventionisms. And they should realize the conservatives are the right party for the right mind of, of the right people. Yeah, conservatism. That's what, yep, that's what we should all believe in. And it seems like I can do some more expanding over here, so that's what I'm going to do. And... Yeah, we're all, we're basically, we're basically all ready for when, we're basically all ready for when the, uh, second colonial little split happens. Yes, you guys want to be out next? Yes! Alright. And with that, I think we can finally take just a slight break in the colonial theater. Because I know, I know we do need to recover our economy, and I know we've been working hard at this whole, like, you know, war-ish state so yeah I think it's I think it's a good time for us just to sit back relax and repair our economy because I'm probably gonna have to tariff out of this so tariff 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 
9% tariffs, and I'm already like, yeah, there we go. The shafting of Lombardia, huzzah! Okay, and let's go keep building more military. Uh, we need to keep building more military as much as possible. Because we need to get our, our fifth army up and running. I mean, it's getting close, but we need to get our fifth army up and running. Oil, yes! So we do have oil in our midst, which means we do we are going to be an oil power in this game. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this is like the biggest oil field in the entire game. So yes, yes, they are. They are the they are the biggest oil fields in the entire game. We own both of them actually, because we also own uh we also own our good friends the uh, Romanians. So they're gonna provide good oil for us. Um, there is some other good reserves, like in terms of the Dutch. Kind of want to go invade the Dutch now, but we'll think about that on a later day. I still have, I have so much revenge I have to dish out. It's not even funny. And since we're still making so much money, we can actually decrease it by, uh, we do need to make a little bit of money. So that should be enough tariffs for right now. I don't need insane amounts of tariffs, but I do need some amounts of tariffs to keep my army from dying. Birth rate exploding! Oh gosh, that's a terrible time for that. <laughs> So, and I've been really, okay, oh, we can do, we can make the, the propose the Dan Duberian Federation. Although, I don't think I'll be able to do that at this point. And let me do all this organizing and colonizational stuff. Because this is, this is a good time now that we've gotten a free moment. Um, I don't actually think I can actually, uh, I can actually do this yet. Because basically, to do this event, you need to make sure that you have a, a militancy below 2.0, preferably zero. Because... Basically what this event is going to ask you is, this basically makes all of the cultures in in your empire yours. Alright? Which is a good thing. It's, it's really good. Like, it really is good. But, at the same time, Serbia is being a... Oh, god damn it, they're back! Oh, shoot. Okay, Serbia, we're going to have to have a long talk. And by long talk, I mean I'm probably... Did you ban me from my embassy? You are a douche. Uh, Netherlands. But we're gonna have to have a long talk with Serbia. Basically, we're gonna have to rip them from the Russians' fear of influence, and then we're gonna have to declare war on them at some point. Dang. Like, that makes me kinda mad. Because <laughs> now Serbia's back, which means they're probably gonna be. They're probably working to destroy my empire right now. Yep. Already nationalists are starting to form, but it's mostly in this little area right here, but oh, I'm making so much money. Okay, cut down the tariffs down to about five. We don't need to be tariffing that much. I just want to keep about 5k income. Okay, but yes, that's looking good. But yeah, basically what it's going to do is it's the, tr the proposal for the trans Federation could give us a lot of payoff in that we get all of our accepted cultures, but at the same time it could destroy our empire because... It basically asks every single culture, Hey, do you like these guys? Do you like these guys ruling you? Well, if you don't, then you have an opportunity to become a free and independent nation. So, yeah, there, there's kind of the, like, you know, opposite effect of that is if... Is if... Is if we fail? Like, we could basically, we could basically wind up only having Austria in our midst. That could be on an entire empire, like literally just Austria. And then all these other nations could become like independent little vassals. Which would destroy our nation. And we have a buy we have like a transcontinental African railroad going, which is cool. Not gonna deny, but do we really have to like I, I don't know. It, it seems kind of a waste of my money, but everyone, keep making keep making more stuff. Keep making more factories. Keep making more stuff. I'm really, I'm really pushing these guys to like, like really upgrade, like severely upgrade. We have to make sure that we're like number one power. By the way, can I declare war on you guys yet, or we still have a truce? Yeah, we still have a truce until 1889. So you guys are safe until then. But I will come back. Don't worry, I will come back. And let me see. This is a better map mode for like infrastructure, because this actually shows you what everything is and. Portugal, you guys are my buddies. You guys should be infrastructurally sound because, like I said, I like you. Uh, Spain, I'm not going to work on you guys because you guys sometimes have trouble. Uh, Greece, you guys are usually pretty good buds with me, so we can all be good friends. And for me to upgrade your entire infrastructure because I suspect we're going to be friends for a while. 
And then Bulgaria, of course, you guys, because you guys are cool friends of mine. And let me make sure I get this. Okay, anywhere else in my in my colonies, I actually need to go get some infrastructure. New. Okay, let me upgrade my uh, ports. There we go. And I think I got some ports over here. Actually, I need to upgrade. Uh, no, I think they're all upgraded. Yes. Okay. And now since I got more upgrade ports, I think it's finally time. Dang it, we can't build them yet. I was about to say, it's finally time for us to start building ironclads and, and iron steamers and start becoming a better power. But we still can't do that. Let me also decrease our tariffs by a little bit more. And I'm really tariffing that, but the more... I'm making so much money right now, it's, it's insane. Alright, like, it's insane how much money I'm making. Alright, let's build another, like, troops. Apparently, Russia's having some kind of difficulty fighting Japan. What? <laughs> okay. And apparently, again, just like last time. Okay, what? wait. So do we want to plant sugar, coffee, cotton, spices, or tobacco? Let's see, what right now is really good in the market? That we could actually legitly- Ooh, wow, we're the leading producers in glass! Dang! But our glass factory is actually going to start crumbling here soon. I wish we could- I wish uh, we could actually start investing in the telephones, because I know telephones are going to be pretty big here soon. Oil not going to be that big, but we are the biggest producers, and we got the biggest other producer underneath our control. That's good. Um, you know what? I'm going to be... Let's see. Sugar, coffee, cotton, spices. So let's see. That's probably raw goods, I'm guessing. No, it's not raw goods. Is it consumer goods then? Sugar sells for 3.4. Tobacco sells for 7.7. .7. No, that's cigarettes. Tobacco itself sells for how much? Because I need to think of this as a good trait. 10.1. That's still... Supply, demand, and there's not much supply either. Who has the biggest share right now in, in tobacco? America. But they don't really supply that much. So we could probably get in the tobacco market. But tobacco market's kind of going down. The coffee market, on the other hand, is actually going up. And we already have a vast amount of influence in the coffee market. So let's go with coffee then. We'll be a coffee-making nation. That sounds really weird title, but that's our title. And Montenegro is apparently in somebody's trade goods and Yeah. They're going to, we're going to be a coffee nation. A coffee nation. We're gonna we're gonna everyone's gonna be not saying the Brazilian coffee. They're gonna be saying the Austrian Hungarian coffee. Or the AHC. Yeah, that's actually a good antonym. The AHC, everyone. The AHC, the best and darkest coffee around. Made with pure and cream sugar without any delight. You can put in almost anything and it always tastes so good. Coffee. We're planting coffee. Whatever you guys do, make coffee. Alright. And by the way, we also have our next colony made. So let's just make sure we get all of our forts made. Boom. And make sure it's also protectorate. And let's see. So this is basically... Oh my god! I, 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 I didn't know you could do that. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to. F no. <laughs> uh, just, just, no. <laughs> That's. No. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know you could completely annex that part. I thought there was kind of a, just a taboo not to annex um, Egypt, but I guess not. Wow. Uh, wow. I, I, I have nothing to say to that, people, except we're going to have to break that up because... Yeah, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> No, that's. I'm sorry, friends. I've let you guys get away with a lot, but no, that just took the cake of like stuff I've seen. I'm never gonna let you guys get away with. All right, and let me get to zero percent production. Now I got a really strong economy again. 
Um, we really have to be investing into iron steamers and all this kind of jazz. I don't have to get all the individual upgrading done, but we do have to get some of this other stuff done. Uh, uh, 50% more liberal? No, I hate that. Don't you dare become 50% more liberal. Oh, uh, the mud mudge. Uh, sure, we can get more consciousness. Because I kind of want, I do want to pass some reforms right by now. But, yeah, that's... <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. If I knew you could just completely annex e Egypt, I would have done that myself. And if we do free Egypt, that basically means that Egypt is going to be this gigantic nation right here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Because this is... Right now, they're fighting... They're fighting basically everyone again that I wanted them to fight. And this is, this is like the perfect time. Because we have all of our allies ready and willing. And we have the mighty British Navy right on our, on our, like, side. So, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a good conquest. Besides, this is going to be the first time I'm actually ever going to fight them in Africa, which is going to be good. Dang, they took all of Egypt! Yeah, I didn't know they could do that! I always didn't, if, if I had known we could do that, I would have done that a long time ago and just been like, whoop, mine! But... Wow, okay, um, yeah, and they have no allies right now, so, they're not gonna be, and plus they're not gonna be able to fight against everyone, so be it, yay, alright, they're not gonna be able to fight against everyone, which is gonna be good, and let me just, like, rapidly decrease, wait, wait, oops, poor, sorry, poor, you guys don't get that much, you know, Ambiguity. I'm sorry. I, I do need I do need my middle class to start stepping it up though So we need you guys to start getting less taxed. There we go. That's about good tax system right there And it's not the greatest like for our rich, but it's not it's pretty good Like I don't have too much taxes for the poor or the middle class the middle class really needs to kick into gear because they really need to start getting becoming rich aristocrats, but yeah, we're, we're gonna have to free. Yeah, okay you, France, no. Let, let's go free Egypt. <laughs> I've never seen I've never seen that in my entire YouTube career is seeing France be that aggressive. Okay, so Romania's already joined in. Let's see, does everyone join in? Good. Go destroy France for me. In fact, I'll, I'll be like, sick em dogs! Okay? Because I really don't want to fight France, but I'll fight, I'll have I'll just halfway fight it. I'll pretend to be in this war, but, um, oh yeah, Baden betrayed us. Baden's no longer our friend, but that's fine. We have Spain, who's going to be a major contributor to this, and then we have ourselves, who are also going to hopefully do something in this. I'm waiting until I figure out to see where the actual, like, French army is, because I really don't know where that is in Africa. Like, where is the French army in Africa? I really don't know. Oof, yeah, we can't, we cannot let them have that. Yeah, that, that's, that, I feel like, I feel like there was a point where I'm just like, I really shouldn't be fighting for this, but yet it feels just so wrong they gained that much land in one fell swoop. All right, oh, it seems, yeah, it seems like I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of fighting for them. Let's see, S Switzerland still likes me, so I think I could probably get, yeah, we probably get some military access to them. Yeah, yeah, Switzerland does not hate me. As much as they like to think of themselves as a hateful nation, they like me. Okay, we're just going to use that to our advantage and go help go conquer all this land. Uh, Spain's going to be my main driving force in terms of what I want them to do. Uh, I don't know what the life rating thing just did, but probably just affected me ma badly. Uh, let's see. Oh, and yeah, I can't use that cheat anymore to justify a war, so... If I want to gain anything out of this war, I'm going to have to be really sneakily. But I just, I just want to first, I just want to limit the amount of power that the uh, French are going to have in this region. Because that's just way too much. Like, I, 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 I usually think, th there's a certain point where I do believe I have to step in and actually play the big boy or the big nation. Because that, at that point, when you got that much, like, power, that's what you really just got to say. Nope. You guys are out. <laughs> the Ottoman Empire defies the Congress. Uh, did you guys really just do that? 
Did, did you guys really just do that? Wait, 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 w